I've mentioned more than once that the phenomenon of men falling behind, particularly young men, has caught the attention of the mainstream and how more and more people are talking about it. And recently I was watching a mainstream news channel, I think it was Fox, where the man, a boomer, was interviewing a woman, an alleged expert in digital technology. And they were basically complaining about men turning to AI girlfriends. Now, these AI girlfriends are not very far along, they're not very well developed, but they're basically complaining about that. And all this begs the question ultimately as to why the mainstream pretends to care about these matters. They pretend to care about the affairs of men, particularly men who are struggling. And these are questions that beg answers, in my humble opinion. So the first reason is a really simple one. It's topical. These days, as you've observed, when there's something in the news and you talk about it, it tends to get more traffic, it generates more AdSense revenue, etc., etc. So that's a really basic reason why they talk about these things. Then you also have the virtue signaling aspect. Now, that's less prominent in the mainstream mainstream, but you get the virtue signaling aspect quite a bit from somebody like Chad Williamson, who pretends to care. Now, to be fair, I do think Chad Williamson thinks the phenomenon is interesting, but I don't think he cares because he finds it wholly unrelatable. Remember, that concept of relatability is a permanent fixture in trying to understand these phenomena and also trying to understand why people may or may not be able to get your position or where you're coming from. And so pretending to care, virtue signaling, is an angle you can take, and it makes you look good. And virtue signaling in the digital internet age is just a thing lots of people do. But I think the most salient factor here is, in fact, the reality that many men don't want to conform. Now, it's not to say they have lots of options. These guys who are resorting to AI girlfriends, I'm not saying that they're walking away from the system and they have tons of options available to them. Many of them have zero options or very few, but it begs the question, why is the bottom rung of society, these men who are unwanted, invisible, nobody cares about them, who don't have a lot of prospects in life, why is what they do in their free time taking advantage of certain types of technology of such interest to the mainstream, to talking heads, to pundits? Why does it even matter? They're not important, they're not relevant, they're not wealthy, they're not attractive. Who cares, right? Well, it really comes down to this notion of control and this expectation of conformity. When you are at the bottom rung of the male dominance hierarchy, whether in terms of looks or status or money, take your pick, there's a general expectation that you are supposed to conform. In this case, you're supposed to give it the old heave-ho. So if you're a 20-something guy who's a sub five with almost no prospects, minimal education, you're still supposed to go some dead end job and try whatever that means to find some woman who might be compatible with you. Even though the vast, vast majority of women these days, if you are a sub five will have no interest in you whatsoever. So what this really boils down to is know your place. If you're not a terribly important person, specifically an important man, if you don't have a lot going for you, then God forbid you have an opinion, a view, a thought that might be deviant from the mainstream or might deviate from the expectations that have been put upon you. And this is also the reason, in my humble opinion, why people are bothered by online talk that is carried out by men who are not having the best time in their life because these guys are supposed to shut up and do what they're told. They're not supposed to discuss their problems They're not supposed to lament anything. They're supposed to accept their lot with perfect stoicism and pretend everything is fine and dandy. It's all peaches and cream. And if it's not, you better shut up and not tell anyone about it. Keep it to yourself. We don't want to hear about that. We don't want to hear about your struggle. We don't want to hear about your problems. That's what this is ultimately about. Conformity, you better conform to our expectations. And the fact that given your low status, you have no choice you're supposed to. And one thing the internet has done is that it has opened up the possibility for people of all sorts to talk about issues that otherwise would never be aired whatsoever. And that's why you have these guys talking about these issues. And they're not supposed to. If somebody has problems, it's women. Women are allowed to talk about whatever problems they have, 
complain, no problem. You're still a boss girl, you're doing fine, you're doing great, everything is fantastic, you're doing nothing wrong. A guy with lots of problems struggling, shut up, know your place, and stop talking. That's the dichotomy we live in. So even discussing these things rouses the ire of the mainstream, the established, or in the weird kind of sicko sense that Chad Williamson has an interest in this sort of, look at these strange creatures called men who aren't models, who aren't super wealthy, how they're struggling. It's so fascinating. Let's just observe this and talk about it. But all these people ultimately would rather you, as an individual man who might be struggling, whatever your age, particularly if you're young, shut up, know your place, get in line, whatever. Just stop talking about the stuff. Stop talking about your life. It's not interesting. Who cares? Whatever. Now, part of this is related to the cult of positivity, which I've talked about before. This overweening necessity people have to be quote-unquote positive even when there's absolutely no reason to be positive. And I'll never forget a series of lines that Chad Williamson mouthed off once about how even if the cynics are right, even if all of that's true, he doesn't want to know, he's going to block it out, just pretend it's not the case. And this is the other aspect to it. Nobody wants to be reminded that they have it pretty good overall. And there's another aspect to this. You look at the typical incel or young guy who's struggling, who might be very unattractive, he's not very tall, maybe he's not very smart. That's a reminder to these people in the mainstream that such people exist. Of course, a guy like Chad Williamson will arrogate to himself some special role. He's not successful just because he's good looking. He's not successful because he's reasonably tall. He's not successful because he's been gifted with a decent amount of intelligence. No, he put some kind of mystical hard work and effort into it. And if he were a five foot three balding midget with a recessed jawline, it would pan out exactly as it did now because it's all just about his work ethic. And people don't want to be reminded of the fact that it has a lot more to do with winning the genetic lottery or not. So none of the things that we can observe here, none of it is genuine. None of it is sincere. Some of it is pure grift just to make money off of it. Some of it is virtue signaling to pretend they care. But most of it is about conformity and the fact that you as a man of lower status have no right to have an opinion, view, thought, or anything and give air to it. Like I said, you're just supposed to shut up and do what you're told. God forbid you don't do that. That's when they get upset. That's why you see all this mainstream attention. All these men are supposed to shut up about the misery of their lives because nobody wants to hear it. The problem is they're talking to other men about it and it's becoming impossible to ignore. So you have mainstream outlets talking about how to fix this. Allegedly, they can't fix it. They don't know. They don't care. And the thing they really, really want is for men to shut up about this, not talk about it, not talk negatively about women. Just be stoic, suck it up and never complain course it's perfectly okay if women do this ad nauseum a thousandfold and that's the difference conformity obedience and disdain i don't think people realize how much disdain broader society has for men at the bottom of the ladder again as a man your visibility is largely related to your status and that visibility can disappear overnight if you lose that status an african male lion is at the top for a certain period of time and they almost never die a peaceful death they're torn to pieces by some intruder male who's trying to take over and get his but if you've never had any status there's nothing to shift you're just invisible and nobody wants people who are invisible to talk about their problems or give air to their grievances whether you think it's justified or not because a lot of people say just man up do this do that a lot of these guys are doing exactly what you say they're supposed to be doing they're manning up and they're still not getting results and then what So God forbid they resort to some kind of technology like AI girlfriends or whatever it might be. These men are supposed to shut up and disappear. And if they don't, that's a problem. Unfortunately, that's what it's about. Anyway, as always, thank you for tuning in. Many, many special thanks to my patrons and donors on PayPal. You guys are the best. You keep the channel going. Without you, the channel could not exist. And if you can engage in the usual YouTube jazz of liking the video, subbing if you're not yet a sub, leaving a comment, sharing with people, be much appreciated. I'll check you out later if I'm still alive. Until then, may the gods watch over you. Bye-bye for now. If you like this video, please like, share, and subscribe. 
And if you enjoy my content, please consider making a donation or becoming a patron. Thanks for watching.